Hello, my name is Lauro and in this talk we will cover the web driver supporting the WP port. First we see the, uh, the current status and also a little bit of the, uh, an overview of web driver. Then we will see some examples of web driver running with WP and see the plans and challenges we are facing. First, WebDriver. WebDriver is a, allows us to control browsers remotely, where the user scripts and tests and routines send comments to a remote browser. It evolved from Selenium WebDriver and nowadays it's a W3C recommendation. Under the hood, the, these are the components of the WebDriver stack, stack. We have the user scripts with interact in our case with the, Selen the Python bindings for Selenium. These bindings communicate with the WebDriver executable through a JSON wire protocol. This protocol is what the W3C recommendation specifies. And the, the both WebKit, GTK and WPE WebDriver implementation uses the remote aspect of protocol to control the, the browser. In comparison to the layout tests, the WebDriver at the layout tests, they are not run inside the browser, they are run inside a helper executable called WebKit Test Runner, and they are not exactly the same environment as the browser. There are some changes to the way the events are, are sent to, to WebKit, the, the way things are handled as this is mostly to, to test the the inner uh, part of WebKit. Meanwhile, WebDriver tests they run in the browser and they have the ability to test real world websites. For example, we, we have plans to, to add some tests, loadings, for example, sites like YouTube or other heavy sites for example in debug mode automatically so we can check whether the, these real world sites trigger some session or not some, it allows us to test uh, real world scenarios instead of trying to reproduce them in test cases it, it works like a complementary uh, test suite the WebDriver specification have commands and actions to, for a lot of things in the browser. Uh, dealing with window handling, creating new windows, destroying windows, resizing windows, getting and setting element attributes and input data, uh, clicking buttons, sending, sending keys to, to items, uh, the keyboard, keyboard, mouse and touch actions, and dealing with prompts and so on. And to test web driver in WP nowadays, in WebKit in general, nowadays we have two main suites, uh, both imported into the WebKit repository. It's the Selenium the test suite based on the Python uh, flavor of Selenium and the web platform tests web driver test. The, the currently for WPE, uh, there's it's limited testing due to the test fixtures uh, requiring multi-view support. They create new views to isolate the tests, and for now, both mini browser and COG, the reference WPE uh, browser, they are uh, single view only. And now a few videos of the WebDriver running with WP. 
The first one is uh, search and follow. For example, in this script, it will try to load MotionWack, uh, try to load the first Google, enter a query, click the first result of the query, and start MotionWack. It's starting, uh, send it a query, searching, click at the MotionMark and already click at the start test and then it will start running the suite another example is playing light chess it will load the website and start clicking the board playing a small game and white one. The, uh, mouse clicks and so on are already supported and navigation etc. For touch it's still a work in progress we are working to, to add support they are, they are not enabled. This is the draft of a test to, to see if we can add some test for kinetic scrolling and the touch support still not has not yet landed now some issues we have been facing and what we try to to do as as i said the test fixers require multi-view support i think this is the main limitation right now in the web driver support for WP and COG already has a, a branch with multi-view and we are working to enable web driver in this branch too to, to see if this ends up uh, working and as I said, touch emulation not yet supported. It's something that we we want. As touch is a important uh, form of interaction with WP, as it's focused on touch screens and embedded devices, and so on. And that was it. Thank you.